Brazil just elected a far-right president who has already earned an international reputation as a tough-talking, take-no-prisoners politician. He'll soon be holding the reins of a country that's in serious trouble. We continue our series of reports about socialism in the 21st century. Tonight, a look at what some believe helped propel this once prosperous and thriving nation into a state of crisis. And inside your world, here's Jonathan Elias. It is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Just a few years ago, the economy here was booming, poised to become the fifth largest in the world. Now, it is a crisis. Last year, we had almost 64,000 murders. And Ilona Zabo says one in 10 murdered in the world today, a Brazilian. Add to that, the economy is now in shambles. It's a terrible situation. What happened? If you ask Felipe Mora Brazil, a conservative journalist here, he blames socialism. What has socialism done to Brazil? It has broken Brazil. Brazil isn't a socialist country, but Felipe argues that many of the social policies that have been adopted here are free health care for all, government handouts to the poor, and much more. They want to increase the minimum wage, they want to increase the public service salary, they want to increase the pensions. At one time, commodity prices, like the oil here, selling at a premium. But the market tanked, and so too did the economy. They just inflated the government. It's like almost 50% of our GDP is going to pay this bill now. Luis Felipe Carvalho runs a startup lab for young entrepreneurs at the top technology university in Rio de Janeiro. Some of the students here recently won an international competition with this freestyling robot they engineered. But when it comes to creating a business in Brazil... It's just easier to quit and go somewhere else. So corruption is one of the biggest problems? I think so. And then bureaucracy? I think the, the whole system is corrupted, I mean. So I think that the, the machine is not running smoothly, and this is the, is the basis of the thing. The latest World Bank rankings puts Brazil at 109 out of 190 countries when it comes to the ease of doing business. Just take a look at how many international companies just ran out of the country in the last few years. It's amazing. Philippe Moro Brazil says that all of these things point to a government that grew so big it became dysfunctional. If nothing changes, what happens to Brazil? The government has no money to pay there. Uh, what they need to pay, so Brazil will, will break. He said he fights every day for a better Brazil, and he believes there is a lesson here for the rest of the world. What I would say to American, and especially American millennials, is to see what happened in Brazil and don't imitate us. For Inside Your World, I'm Jonathan Elias.